Today we have what everybody's doing. Go for broke, because just about everybody is broke. It's a cool new concept. Instead of trying to get filthy rich, you try to get rid of all your new money. All your money. It's a fun, awesome, cool, and amazing game. I like this game. It's a pretty sweet, cool game. It's the Go For Broke Spend A Million Game for two to five players. Big spenders rejoice. Players receive one me one million dollars from the bank and must go broke to win. Even after donating to the poorhouse, paying in the stock market, visiting racetracks and casinos, players will find that searching a million dollars is harder than you think. Go for broke. It's the game that you try to go broke, but you keep making more money. So it's pretty hard to actually go for broke. Well, and here's the rules. Go for broke, spend a million. Go for broke, spend a million. So basically, you get a million dollars. And you go around the board, and you invest that money, and donate that money to try to... You got receive cards and spend cards. You got the poor house. You got start here. You got stock market. You got the racetrack. And you got the casino. Casino, you spend money on the roulette reel. The stock market, you get to do that. You can buy... Oil, steel, and uh, utilities. Extra dividends. Oh no, more money. Here's another game you can play at the slot machines. And then here's the racetrack. Let me explain the casino. Uh, the casino. See? You roll three times and you get money based on that amount. And it only costs five thousand. Uh, the racetrack, you can bet up to twenty thousand dollars. Number one wins. You, number two wins. Number four wins. Basically, you can't lose at the racetrack. One, two, three, and four. You always win. Stock market, if it's up or down, you buy stocks, whatever. So you're pretty, you're pretty screwed. You pay $10,000, you pick a number on a roulette, you know, if you win, you get money. And then, of course, there's the go to broke thing where you pay the bank in thousands. Total show on the dice, except if one dice shows one, receive. If both dice show one, receive. So. When you get to the casino, you can do all of the things. Then, of course, there's the racetrack. You can do the racetrack. There's stock market. You do the stock market. <coughs> <coughs> So you go around the board, I think you go around the board, you go around the board, and even when you pass start, I think you get money. Well, I don't see it here, but anyway, just about everything you do. You have more chances of winning more money than losing, so it's uh, it's really difficult to actually go for broke because all these money symbols are you get paid um, stuff. So let's look at the components. Got money, pieces, and die. Standard, usual. And we got the spend and receive cards. Let's look at those. You can buy stock, but some all the stock are also received cards. I think you get a certain amount of stock to start with. <coughs> Let's look at the received cards. Let's 
So, Mr. Bucks likes to hand out money. That one lets you go to the Vorhells. See, like I said, they're stock cards. Free stocks. The poor house where you donate money to the poor house. So all these are basically, you get stuff. And then you got spin cards, which some are stocks. Yeah, spend a lot of money on stock. A lot of these are stocks. Then we got a bunch of different things you buy. Going to the casino, going to the racetrack, donating money. To the poorhouse, but if you're sent to the poorhouse, you have to collect that poorhouse money. Um, buying stocks, but then the stock, then when the stock market comes around, you make money. So owning stocks not necessarily always a good idea, and that's pretty much go for broke, which is you should go for buying it. Because it's a great game. I mean, it's simple, easy to play, and it's fun. And you're like trying to lose money, trying to lose money, trying to lose money. And they're like, here's some more money. Here's some more money. Here's some more money. And you're like, no, I'm trying to go for broke. And since I'm usually am, am broke... I figured I would do a review on Go For Broke because most folks are always broke. And this game, it's like, you can't, it's so hard to go actually go for broke. Um, the only problem I would have to say with this game is that a million dollars is really hard to get rid of. This game can go on for hours and hours trying to get rid of a million dollars. I mean, it just goes on and on. People will probably quit before the game ends because it just goes on and on. That being said, it's freaking fun and hilarious to spin the spinners and to roll the dice and go around and try to actually spend your money and actually go for broke. I mean, it's freaking fun to try to go for broke. But, I mean, you try and you try and you try, but then all of a sudden, more money. I'm like, what? In real life, you'd be like, yay, more money. But in this one, it's like, oh, no, not more money. So, <laughs> it's like, you try your best to like, okay, say you pick just say I picked 18 on the roulette round. say I, I just happened to pick what I rolled you're like I'm gonna lose the roulette reel yeah and then you pick it and it's like they just gave you like $150,000 $200,000 or something you're like oh man or you're trying to lose money on the slot machine here and you just happen to spend three go for brokes they give you like a hundred something thousand dollars. You're like, oh man. And you're like, racetrack, yeah. Racetrack, I'm going to lose. Yeah. And then you, it lands on the number four and you're like, oh man. And then you're like the stock market and you're like, ha, 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 it's going to go down. It's going to go down. It's going to go down. And then extra dividends and you get like money for every stock that you have. And you're like, oh man. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. So it's like in this game, you're like, oh man, when you actually win money. It's freaking hilarious. Everybody's like, don't roll one, don't roll one, don't roll one. You just put like $20,000 down to roll the dice and you're like, don't roll ones. And you roll two ones and you're like, snake eyes. Oh crud. I just got another $100,000. 
So, I mean, it's like, you're like, oh, no, you're trying to lose money, and it's like, no, uh, when you just, when all of a sudden you're like, you're getting low on money, and you're like, yeah, I'm about to win this, yeah, I'm about to win this, yeah, I'm about to win this, I got this in the bank, I got it, yeah, I'm going to win, I'm going to win, and then you get it on something, where it's all of a sudden, boom, you just got another 200000 and it's like, what the, beep, I just want all that money. Like, I didn't want that money. So, yeah. There's that. Let's go for a broke. So, that's pretty cool. It's a pretty cool. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Pretty cool game. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Pretty cool game. Pretty cool game. So, uh, remember that God's good all the time. And that, uh, it doesn't matter how much money you have. As long as you... Put store up treasures in heaven with God, with Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, because Jesus loves you so much he died on the cross for your sins. And uh, you will never be broke in heaven. Well, actually, you will be broke because God owns everything, but you'll be walking on gold, so there's no real point in trying to get gold on earth if uh, you're going to be walking on it in heaven. Maybe enough gold to live and survive, but... Mm. Because, I mean, the Bible doesn't have a problem with a good prophet or a good prophet. <laughs> um, but anyway, like, comment, share, and subscribe if you like my videos. And um, everybody have a great, amazing, wonderful, awesome, cool, super sweet day. And hopefully you are not broke all the time. And don't actually try to go for broke in real life. It is not fun. So, later.